titration is a technique used to work out the concentration of an unknown solution when you know the concentration of another solution. You carefully add the known solution to a set volume of the unknown solution until the reaction is complete. This enables you to work out the concentration of the unknown solution. You may need to use an indicator to signal the end of the reaction. You can calculate the concentration of an acid or an alkali by carrying out a titration experiment. In this video, we are going to look at how to carry out titrations. In the next video, we will then look at the calculations to go with the experiment. The apparatus needed for titrations looks like this. The pipette is used to accurately measure a certain volume of the unknown solution into the flask. The burette is then used to accurately measure and add the known reactant to the unknown until the reaction is complete. The burette can measure up to a 0.05 cubic centimeter accuracy. To carry out a titration, you follow these steps. One, using the pipette, add a set volume of the unknown solution to a clean conical flask. Two, you may also need to add a few drops of indicator. Three, fill the burette with the known solution and make sure it is leveled off at exactly zero. Four, slowly add the solution from the burette to the unknown solution in the conical flask. Five, you may need to swill the flask to mix or use a stir plate. Six, stop adding when the reaction is complete or the end point is reached. This is where an indicator may help you because there would be an appropriate color change. Seven, record the final volume on the burette. This gives you the volume of the solution added this volume is called the titer. 8. For an accurate experiment, you should repeat this experiment a few times until you get consistent values for the titer. Depending on the indicator you use, the color change will be either gradual or sudden. If you are carrying out an acid alkali titration, you may use universal indicator, which would give a gradual color change. Though this might not be ideal because of this gradual color change. Litmus gives a sudden color change. But there are other better indicators that are specialized for the acids and the alkalis in the titration. Sometimes the acid may be the known solution and the alkali unknown, and other times the alkali the known and the acid the unknown. So we have carried out the titration a few times and have a consistent value for the titer. What do we do next? Titration calculations! Now that you know how to carry out titrations, Watch the second part of this video to see how to do titration calculations to work out the actual concentration of the unknown solution. All you need to really remember is that titrations are used to work out the concentration of an unknown solution when you know the concentration of another solution.